Hello, hello, hello everyone. All right, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do compound interest word problems. Now, before we continue, go ahead and pause this video right now and copy these notes down. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me explain the formula real quick. A is your final amount, P is your initial amount, whatever you start off with, R is your rate, and you're going to change to a decimal, and T represents your time. N, which is in two places, represents how it's compounded. If it's monthly, it's 12, quarterly is 4, semi-annually is 2, yearly is 1. All right, let's look at this first example. A coin had a value of $1.17 in 1995. Its value had been, has been increasing at 9% per year. What is the value after five years? All right, let's write down the information that we already know. One thing that we know is the initial amount, basically the amount that we started off with, which is P, and that is $1.17. We also know the rate. The rate is 9%. And how you change 9% to a decimal? You have two options. You can either move the decimal to the left two times, or you can just type 9 divided by 100 in your calculator. Either way, you get 0 .09. We also know the time, because they said 5 years, so t will equal 5. Now, how it's compounded? Usually it will say compounded monthly, compounded quarterly, etc. But since it doesn't say any of those things, and it's telling us it's 9% per year, it's compounded yearly. So n is going to equal 1. And then I'll just plug everything into the formula that you previously wrote on your paper. So it will be a equals 1.17 times 1 plus 0 0.09 over 1 to the power of 1 times 5. And when I type all of that in the calculator, I'll get 1.800. So, since we're talking about money, I'm going to go ahead and say it's $1.80. That's it. 